Good morning, everybody. This is God's Gifts. Um, today is 8 25 19, and at 10 o'clock, I felt that uh, the Lord was pressing on me to give a message to His people. So I did my anointing and my communion, and I did receive a major message. It's probably the longest message I've received yet. This is the message, and I started getting times to write the times down at certain points in here. And I just looked them all up, and they have a lot to do with the message, so I'll give those after. My child, I shall bring this word that I have come to reveal in this time. As I stand before you, I shall speak to the assembly, for all who know me are gathered in the Spirit and in truth. Come, my people, and sit as I, your Lord God, have much to say. You are the mighty tree that sits beside the water of life, with its roots deep, reaching all places of the earth. My word has gone forth, as you, my servants, have fed those on every corner of this earth. I have spoken to you and through you, and you have been obedient to deliver the truth of my salvation and the end of this age. Though many cry for deliverance now, I must stand upon my word spoken. It comes near to the appointed time. Beloved, your patience brings joy in me and in the Father, for we see the anticipation. The joy is having and knowing that your time is come, that you understand the signs being brought forth. The declaration made by the King of America was a call to my people that the trumpets of war shall soon begin. The great fall is upon this nation, and I shall bring it. The groves of the mighty trees shall be cut, and shall bring with it a great noise. I stopped the message because I wanted to make sure that this was a word from the Lord, and that he was the one speaking to me, and this was at 1149. I immediately received 1 Corinthians 2.7. But we speak... But we speak the wisdom of God in mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. At 11.54 I started again. My child, now that you know that it is I who speaks, know that you are receiving and, shall be, and things shall be revealed. My presence is with you all. Do not doubt that I come with power and great glory to my chosen ones to deliver you, for I have spoken it. Do not be weary in your troubles, for I, the Lord God, know what ails you and shall reward you in all things. Stand, O children, with your swords gleaming. Sharpen and carry them high in battle. Lift the arms of the weary, and hold them high, for I, your Lord God, shall keep you from the great oppressor. Stand with me, ye mighty men of valor. Gather together, for the gate of kingdom shall be open unto you. Let not those who speak mighty words of the enemy lead you into doubt. Cast down and bind all things not of me. Weary and tired and sleepless are the chosen. Your eyes are full of all the things I am showing you. I am the breath, the wind blowing upon the waters that shall move my peoples to freedom. You who cannot move your families to safe ground in me, I shall carry them at their appointed time. I am the God of all creation and love them more than thee. I cause them to stumble in darkness, that when they see the light they shall come and not be hindered any more. Your love for them is great, and I hear your prayers, and I shall bring them with my mighty hand. Do not waste your time with worry, for I knew they would be in the places that they are in, and they would be, and at that time you are... Ah, oh, sorry guys, let me try this again. Do not waste your time with worry, for I knew they would be in the places they would be in. At that time, you are now in. 
From beginning until the end, I know it all, and not a moment is gone from my presence. This is all part of my salvation, that all shall rejoice that are mine. For this is my glory, that all will return. I will bring them to my, I will bring them my words, and they shall know me, for I am the God of salvation, the everlasting God, the God of my people. The days of your troubles are in ending. The burdens of this world shall no more be upon you. The time of the tables shall flip. The mountains shall be made low. The valleys shall be made high. The poor shall be rich, and the rich shall find their place, plates empty. No more shall my people rest in the streets and be looked upon as filthy. Now I shall cleanse them anoint them with sweet perfume, and clothe them with my robes of righteousness, and they shall rest in me. Woe unto you who have cast the poor aside to not give them food nor drink. For as I speak, you shall be walking with signs that have no words. You shall receive no hand to lift you up, and your bed that you made shall be your eternal resting place of sorrow and misery and gnashing of teeth for what you have done to the poor you shall receive for you also have done unto me your tongue shall be dried up and cleaved to the roofs of the of your mouths for you have spoken great words against the weak the poor the widows the fatherless and the unborn you shall walk in my unquenchable fire, and not a drop of water shall be found. O chosen ones, as you sit at my feet in this womb of darkness, you are surrounded on every side with my whole protection. As in the womb, living waters surround you, absorbing the force that try to kill your spirit. I am the cord of life which feeds you and has prepared you for your new life ahead. It is time for you to come forth. I shall call you soon. The revelation, this is what I received. The revelation of 12 is at hand. The revelation of 12 is at hand. And I understood this to be the midnight hour. And he led me to Esther 9.12. And I believe this is what is about to come to Israel right now. Thus the Jews smote all their enemies with the stroke of the sword and slaughter and destruction, and did what they would unto those that hated them. Be ready, my children, for the midnight hour is upon you. Love and blessings, Jesus, your Messiah. The numbers that I received or wrote down for the times was 1058, which means weeping and crying and shedding of tears. In Greek, it means galleon, one who lives on milk, and I understood this to be those who give suck in those days. Hebrews 11.49, Baneus, which means to be enraged or angry. In Greek, it means del uh, dalmatia, which means priestly robes. Um, 1154, which is unripe and sour grapes. These are our people who are not ready. I believe this is those who will be brought forth. They're sour to the words of God. They, they will be turned. In Greek, it means Damascus. And we know that the destruction of Ma Damascus is at hand. Hebrews 100, rush, bulwark, cauldron, and hook. Greek. Uh, 100 means abundance. So God is about to bring his people. I had um, a couple words that I received. And I don't know if I can fit them on this. But they're, um, I might have to do this at another time. I'm already at nine minutes. I pray you guys are blessed. May God's glory shine upon all of his people who are searching for him. Our time is at hand. He's telling us the tables are about to turn. The poor 
are no longer going to be living in the streets. He is about to send forth his righteousness on us. He's about to finish the work that he is about to do. I love you all. This is God's gifts. May his words be upon you. Search him. Find him. Ask him if this is the truth. Go before him. Do not believe me. Believe in him. Jesus is the only way. If you are not saved, I call on you now to get ready for the for our Lord is coming and destruction comes after we leave. Just as the Lord said, my friends, love and blessings. Your Messiah, our Messiah is coming. He said, be ready, my children, for the midnight hour is upon you. I love you all. This is God's gifts.